Let's start with some images of street art in Athens. I spent a week in Athens and after we watched some images, I will discuss my thinking behind the images. Let's roll the slideshow. Hi, it's Peter here. I spent six days in Athens last week. Four days as a tourist and two days as a photographer. And as a tourist I took quite a few tourist shots, snapshots of the places I saw. They are my memories of the trip and I can share those with my family and you know all that. And uh, we uh, professional photographers tend to underestimate the power of a photograph as a memory. And I think those photographs are really important. They are just snapshots that are resonating with my and my experience, what I saw. They are not supposed to resonate with you. If they do, fine, then, you know, it's, it's totally okay. But that's not the intention. But then when I was as a photographer, I took images of street art, which is the topic of this video. And I hope those resonate with you. And before we get into those images and what I did uh, think when I was making those images, a few words about the gear. I always travel quite light with what it comes to my camera gear. This time, like most of the time re in recent trips that I've made, I've brought only OM5 and the Mzuiko 20mm f1.4 Pro. I like to travel light for two reasons. Of course, the first thing is that I don't on my free time and, and laser photography. I don't want to carry a lot of things around. I want to keep that stuff simple. And at the moment, a 20 millimeter f1.4 lens is perfect with OM5. The field of view fits my style of photography. And last time I was talking about my travel gear, someone said that I will lose a lot of shots. Maybe I do, but when I'm concentrating on shots that I can get, it's a lot better than just, you know, uh, always think about the shots that I will miss, then I will miss a lot of shots if I, if that's my intention. And then someone commented also about the focal length and uh, do I need to crop the images? Sometimes I would need a telephoto lens. Yes, that's true. I do crop some images. I'm not really into high megapixels because I don't need them. 20 megapixels and I crop it, it's still plenty for online use, which most of my images are intended for to show on these videos and on social media. Even though I did not post that many images on Instagram, or not that many at all, I will post some of the images on Instagram later in upcoming weeks. So if you want to follow my Instagram, there is a link in the description of this video and you can see the handle over there. And then about the images that I showed at the beginning. As I said, I concentrated on street art and I hired a guy from Alternative Athens. Nico was my guide and I have to say that he was excellent. So if you're in Athens and want some private tours or a tour with a group, check out this service. And they did not sponsor this. I just wanted to say this because I really appreciate it. And the main point is to add something to the image. If we take this image, for example, well, it's a memory and a copy of this particular piece of art on this switch box or electronic box or whatever this is. But then we have another image, which is this one, which adds something when the crop is a bit wider. And we see the girl with the pigeon and the key, which is most likely about peace. And then we have the gate and we can add a story that the key is to the gate, but then what about the peace and democracy? There is some barbed wire behind the fence. So that small thing adds to the image. I'm not saying that it is the 
the best image in the world, but it is better than just taking this way the image. I, I think it's a way better image when you have some context and some things that adds to the story. And that was my intention to do. And sometimes when you're making an image, it's about pure luck. I saw this mural, which is actually an advertisement for the store. Just before I pressed the shutter button, this guy looked out. And I think this made the image. The first intention was only to make an image of the graffiti because, or the ad, because I think it looked pretty good. It was really well made. And I also have another image that I thought would be the image that I show. But this one is a lot better when you have someone looking at you. You might wonder, was he mad? Was, no, he just looked at something else that was happening behind me on the street. But it looks like he's looking straight at me. And I think the face of the guy just makes the image and the contrast also between the, the mural or the ad and the person. I think this image came out quite well. Then we have another one, which um, is, is quite, uh, not quite, but a bit similar than the other one. This one is a lot more busier because it is a busy street and there is a lot of things going on. In this image there were actually two murals. The one that I was photographing is of course the one with the mask and it was made by Eno, which had a lot of different uh, murals in the city in Athens and his signature style looks like this and then there's always the light blue in the image or in the in the mural which is his signature style. And uh, on this one also there's a man standing on the street which actually I did not realize until I was going through my images. So sometimes we can find stuff in our images that we don't see while we're photographing. And you know that what I call is photographer's luck which sometimes we have and sometimes not. It's just something that if you concentrate on doing something and you give the luck a chance you might have it. And then this is one of my favorites or the favorite image. It reminds me of this image that I took in Lisbon. This is also something that I was waiting for. I was hoping that someone would do something similar than the graffiti has. And, and there is kind of a story. It's, it's a bit of funny image because the mouth is open with both and they're both looking to the side. And the colors well, they don't really match. I would have loved to have someone with some more color, colorful, uh, uh, what do you call, clothes. But I think this goes well. And also what was really just pure luck was that the, uh, the position of the, of the legs and she was walking towards at the same time was turning the head. This is not always the moment, but I got that moment. I'm really happy about this image and, and it makes me smile. Then this one, it was really hard to photograph. And here, yes, I would have preferred slightly wider lens, but there wasn't any room. There was a busy street full of cars right behind me. So I'm right at the edge of the, of the sidewalk. So I could get the whole image. And then I wanted to have someone walking by. I was lucky that this guy with the red sweatsuit came. I liked the black backpack and the headphones and then the contrast color to the bluish. Uh, I don't know, it's not a mural, it's, it's painted on, the, on this uh, r rolling door that they have on, in front of the stores when it's not open. And I think the, the color is the something that adding to the image. And also the eyes are looking at something. So there is something that the eyes are concentrated on. And I think that's also something that, okay, I could have taken the image. It's an interesting as it is, like, like without anything. But having someone there makes it mine, the image. It's a unique image, even though that particular graffiti is there still and it will be for many years to come. And a lot of people will make images of that, but they don't do this image. Most likely they won't get it because it was this guy at this particular moment. And that's why I want to add something to the image that makes it more interesting. And also it makes it mine and unique in that sense. And then another piece from Eno, which was really hard to photograph because it was a busy street. I think it was four lane street in front of this and the sun was behind the whole mural. And this was part of a Da Vinci exhibition that they had on this particular building way back 
or not that much way back, but a few years back. And it is the eyes of Mona Lisa that there are reflects that the eyes reflect a riot police and a protester. And this is of course part of the story that uh, Greece was in big financial troubles, and there were a lot of demonstrations about that. And as you can see, it, you know, light blue there. And what I did, I waited for a car that is a similar color to the Eno signature light blue color. And again, a bit of luck and patience, I got it. The problem was that getting the car and having no other cars at the same time, because it was a busy road, but I managed to do it. And I intentionally left the car on the edge to make it a bit odd and kind of like the composition is wrong. But I also wanted it to be out of the mural so that the mural is there, but there is the slight light blue thing. And again, photographer's luck was in my favor. And let's go to the next one. And this one is about technology and the eyes are reflections and everything is just, it's just a masterpiece. And again, being a bit lucky and patient, I got what I wanted because of course scooters and motorcycles is a big thing in Athens because the traffic is so vast and there is so much traffic. So motorcycles and, and scooters is the best way to get around. And I waited and luckily when this particular one came, had a perfect color and also it was the only one on that particular street at that time. There is of course cars right out of the frame, so I had to be really quick. But again, photographer's luck. And then this one is an interesting piece of art. There is a lady that I waited for someone to be in the image, again, to make it my own. Just an image of the corner here would have been something that anyone could take, but with that particular person in the image makes it unique. And then this a bit odd composition, which I think makes the image interesting. The octopus looking at the guy just is, is a bit hilarious. And the position of the guy is not totally perfect, but I like the way the other foot is in the air. And then right at the corner, which uh, is kind of uh, a wrong way to make the composition. But this is something that I wanted to make it to make it more interesting and probably as it raises more questions and why did I do it? Well, I don't know. I just felt that it looked better this way. And I also took some classical street photography style street photographs. These are the things that I saw between the murals that I photographed. And uh, I'm quite happy with these and I was planning on doing black and white, but then I realized that they actually look pretty good in color too. And these images are something that I'm also very happy about. And at the archaeological museum, I also met someone who's following my channel. So if I travel and you meet me, just come and say hi. It's really appreciated. And here is the video about my street art photography in Lisbon last October. You might want to watch that if you're interested in my philosophy of making images. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.